it's just it's unbelievable my daughter got married today and I'm probably gonna cry but but uh it's great she married the best man ever i'm just so blessed to have a saved daughter and xavier saved and they got a great foundation there it's it's gonna be good we met at church, which is just so basic, but we got to know each other through game nights with Emerge. First impression, the sweatpants, because he, like, physically, that's like my first impression, because he always wore sweatpants, but like, his personality, like, we just got along so well, and so I was just like, oh, like, I could see myself with this dude. I'm still trying to remember the exact day that we met, um, so we, we just decided to go with one that like we're pretty sure. Um, but anyway, so we, we like sat across from each other like playing this game and um, I don't know, I just remember like we were just like, like shared like similar like humor and stuff where I was cracking jokes and she was laughing. I remember thinking, I was like, oh, like, she's like, she's really laughing and stuff. And so I don't know, like we just kind of, I think humor was probably the biggest thing that like hit it off um, or at least kind of like started making me think, like, oh, who is this, but, yeah. Uh, dear Lord, thank you so much um, that uh, me and Taylor are finally getting married. Um, thank you so much for just being with us um, this whole time and throughout our, our whole relationship, Lord. Uh, we just pray um, that you uh, give us literally the most wonderful and um, sweetest marriage, Lord, and let us just keep uh, putting you at the center and um, help us to always just have unity, even in the hard times, Lord. Let us just keep our eyes uh, and our faith on you and keep loving each other um, like you throughout the, the many, many years to come. We pray in your name, amen. God like spoke to me and he was like, be faithful to me and you can have it. Now getting married to him today, so. Cause she's literally the most like, sweetest, most attentive, um, gentle, and patient, and like Christ-like girl that I've met. Uh, Taylor, I love you so much, and I can't believe that we're finally getting married, and I'm just so thankful for you and how much you love me. I can't wait to officially call you my wife and Taylor Oni. here today to celebrate, to celebrate a love story that God wrote. This is more than fate. As Christians, we believe in God's plan. Today, you two will begin your lives together. You will begin to build a home together, a future together. Today, you lay that foundation on the Word of God. Well, guys, we made it. <laughs> your love for Christ and His love for you will never set you up for failure. So have charity, have love, and you cannot go wrong. As much as you, Xavier, and you, Taylor, have thus consented in holy matrimony and have witnessed the same before God and these friends, by the virtue of the authority that has vested me as a minister of the gospel and by the laws of this state, I do pronounce you now husband and wife. What are you excited about? <laughs> Xavier, you may now kiss your bride. Unfortunately, I don't know that much about Taylor. In fact, this is probably the first time I actually like I've actually seen her physically. So, so when I first met Taylor, 
I'll be honest with all of you, I really wasn't too sure about her. <laughs> we were cleaning um, at the church for Easter, preparing uh, with the Real Life Youth Group. Um, and I was still super new to Fellowship Baptist, and after meeting her that night, I left thinking, this girl is super loud, she drinks way too much coffee, and she is like way overly obsessed with 21 Pilots. <laughs> so from that, I just really wasn't sure. But little did I know the following week we would be going to Rising Park together, jamming to John Bellion all of the time, um, and getting in trouble for stealing a chair from McDonald's. So that's a highlight right there. But through all of these adventures that we've had, I've seen her grow and mature in so many different ways, and it's been such a joy. Right before Xavier came back from graduating college, I remember we were getting coffee. She came to visit me at school, and she was saying, you know, I'm really done looking for guys. I'm just going to pray every single day that God sends me the right man. I'm going to journal. I'm going to have my heart set to bring whoever is right for me into my life. Not even a month later, Xavier comes walking in the door of FBC after he graduated. Um, and we were headed to Easton and I was just asking her about her life and she said, yeah, you remember Xavier? You met him at Vacation Bible School. And I was like, yeah, I, I think I remember him a little bit. She's like, I'm kind of feeling him, you know? I'm kind of feeling it out. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.